not today. For today, we have to prepare. I'm here to let everyone know that I have seen the future, and it is a dangerous and horrifying place. It is a place where we are being attacked and invaded by the Marmosets. Oh, the Marmosets are coming, and everyone thought I was crazy, but soon, very soon, you will see how crazy I am. Crazy like a fox. Crazy enough to know that the foxes are our only chance. We must recruit the foxes to battle the Marmosets. We must prepare our minds and bodies for the coming battle, for it will last decades, perhaps even centuries. But fortunately, we've been given the tools to do so by our good friends at the Parker Brothers Corporation. They have given us the tools for our own salvation, and we can use these tools for our own salvation. And these tools are the Reddit Stimpy Show Log Serial Game. <laughs> the Marmosets haven't planned for this. They didn't plan for the Reddit Stimpy Log Serial Game. This is our secret weapon, our ace in the hole. And today, I'm going to show you how to use it. You know, the coolest thing about this game is that it is authentically old. Look at that, 1992. I was eight years old when this came out. I didn't have money that I could just spend on stupid board games. I wish I did, or I, I, I wish I had, or I would have this. But unfortunately, we have child labor laws in this country. George Washington would be rolling over in his grave. Oh no. But the crazy thing is, I bought this new at the convention. This had never been opened. So I opened this bitch up. And guess what, guess what I did? Since I'm a neat freak, I put everything in its own little packages so that when I shared it with you guys, it would be easier to do and I could actually show you all the stuff in order and it wouldn't just be a mess like this video and like my life. The box is actually designed to look like a cereal box, a giant, Ren and Stimpy cereal box. But not to worry, Stimpy, because it's all natural. It's splinter free and high fiber, and all you have to do is add children. Much in the way you add strawberries to your Cheerios. Just cut up some children and add them to your log cereal. It'll be delicious. Now, if you've watched this channel for any amount of time, you know by now that the Ren and Stimpy show is my favorite thing ever. In fact, it, it's, it's what made me the man I am today. <laughs> So, I was obviously very excited about this, but also because my second favorite thing ever is probably cereal. And now we can finally be together. It's really, it's a beautiful love story. It's the final chapter of what I hope is many chapters of our beautiful love story together. And like I said, I will publish it on the internet because I have no shame. I'm proud of who I am. It's 2015. This is a game made out of cardboard, you idiot. Deal with it. So, the Ren and Stimpy Show Log Serial Game really isn't much of a game, I have to be honest with you. It comes with four comic strip mats. And they come, there's four mats, and they're based on episodes of the show. Now these game pieces are actually puzzle pieces that fill in your comic strip. So let's find the Space Madness strip. Here we go. So, let's say I, I had the Space Madness strip and I picked this piece. This, oh look at that! This one fits on my strip. So I put it down. But, before I do that, I have to quote a line from Space Madness. That's the rules. And if you don't quote a line from the show, you don't get to put your piece down. So the objective here, obviously, is to drive your parents crazy by quoting Ren, the Ren and Stimpy show. Also, the secondary objective is to complete your comic strip. But it's, but you know what? That's easier said than done. And that's because there are also log pieces. Let's take a look at the log pieces. Look at this. See how organized I am? Everything's in bags. We were neat in the 90s because we actually cared about our crap back then. Not like you... Not like you kids today. You don't care about anything. Except Beyonce. Now, scattered among the puzzle pieces are these log pieces. And if you happen to pull out a log phrasing, what you have to do is exactly what the log says. So if it says take one, you get to take one puzzle piece from another from another player, and then you get to put it back in the box, because that's the thing. This is all in the cereal box, and you guys, you take turns reaching into the cereal box and pulling out these pieces. Look at this. Slide right. So if you pull slide right, you actually have to slide your comic strip to the player to the right. So you, you, could, you could be one piece away from completing Space Madness. Well, guess what? Now little Billy's one piece away from completing Space Madness. F*** you, Billy. And to be honest, it's kind of a stupid game because it's mostly designed for dumb kids. In fact, it's so stupid that there's a history eraser button panel. And here's the thing about that. The, within all these puzzle pieces, you actually have history eraser button pieces. And if this gets, if this comic strip gets completed before the other ones, nobody wins. This game never took place. 
So it's like this, this is basically just a, you dumb kid, you wasted your time here. You also spent like $50 on this. What the hell is wrong with you? So like I said, th this is a very stupid game and I don't foresee myself actually playing it very much, partly because I don't, I don't really have any friends. You know what I never understood is proof of purchase. What, what is, how is that proof? It's literally the smallest thing here. How is this not proof of purchase? It's twice the size! Yeah, they did a pretty good job in terms of picking episodes, though. I mean, they had eight to pick, and they went with some pretty good ones. Stimpy's Big Day, Ren's Toothache, In the Army, Rubble, Rubber Nipple Salesman. I mean, they, Stimpy's Invention, they, they really did go with eight classics. I mean, the only one that you could argue isn't, like, a top eight all-time episode is, like, maybe Out West. I, I don't know, I would maybe taken that one out. Put in Sven Hulik. That's the thing about the first two seasons of Ren and Stimpy. Everything was great. All these episodes were great. It doesn't matter. Although they really should have had Sven Hulk in here. Who do I... Who do I write... Who do I write about that? Oh, you're gonna hear from me. Consumer relations! And now the final component of this game is log cereal. And all it is... It's just cardboard shaped like logs, and I'm pretty sure it doesn't even, I mean, all it does is it just fills the cereal box so that when you're actually feeling around for pieces, there's more in there than just the real pieces. These, I don't even think these have a purpose in the game. Like, I read this casually. I, what I did was I glanced over the, the instructions, and I didn't see anything about the log pieces. What I will tell you is that this is a really cool collector's item to have. Um, I don't know that it's actually much of a fun board game because I haven't really played it with anyone. I played it myself, but I don't think you're actually supposed to do that. It's not, that's the one drawback. Unlike cereal, which is delicious no matter how many people you're with, you kind of need people to play, you need more than just yourself to play this game, which immediately puts me at a drawback because as we've established, I do not have any friends. <laughs> Ren and Stimpy are my friends. They've stuck with me through thick and thin. Mostly thin. I bought a lot of Ren and Stimpy toys. Maybe I'll show you some of those later. Or maybe not. Maybe by then the marmosets will have invaded and this will all be for naught. I hope you guys survive. I hope you make it to your nearest marmoset shelter. If you don't get there, call Consumer Relations. It says they'll be happy to field questions. You can ask them. How do I deal with this, this crap? What do I do? Is there... How do I... Do you have a shelter? It's the Ren and Stimpy Show log cereal game.